Did you know Fujifilm made a medium format camera in 1995? This is the Fujifilm GA645W. The W standing for wide because this is the wide version of the camera with a 45 millimeter F4 lens. The normal version of the camera is a 60 millimeter. This camera is super lightweight, has a pop-up flash, and when you look through the viewfinder is actually vertical orientation instead of the traditional landscape orientation that almost every camera produced is. The biggest way that the GA645 differs from Fujifilm's current medium format cameras is that this is a medium format film camera. It takes 120 medium format film, you get 16 shots a roll, and I've been using it for about two and a half years in a huge variety of different situations. Let me tell you why I love this little medium format camera. If you're new here and don't know too much about film photography, medium format film or 120 film is roll film that looks like this. It's not 35 millimeter film with the sprockets, it's much bigger. And depending on the camera you shoot it in, the aspect ratio and the amount of film you're shooting at once will change. So with something like the Fuji GA645, you're using a camera with the aspect ratio six by 4.5 and you're gonna get 16 shots per roll. Now, how does shooting with the 645 compare to 35 millimeter? 645 is about three times bigger than a 35 millimeter frame. So you're getting triple the detail and resolution that you would if you were shooting 35 millimeter. And that's what makes medium format film so cool, is how detailed and sharp the negatives can be. The Fuji GA645 is actually the first autofocus medium format film camera of all time. It's pretty much a medium format point and shoot. You put this camera in P for program and you just fire away. One of my favorite things about point and shoots is that it's all about composition. You're not worrying about the aperture or the shutter speed or really anything for that matter. You're just focusing on the most important thing, your eye making the most appealing composition to yourself. So the GA645 is great for that. It of course is not just a point and shoot though. It also has aperture priority and it also has a fully manual mode where you can adjust both your aperture and your shutter speed to your liking. But I've pretty much never used it because the program mode is just that good. Now, the lens. I mentioned the lens already. It is a 45 millimeter F4 lens. When it comes to focal length, 45 millimeters on medium format is about 28 millimeters on a full frame camera. If you've ever shot with a 28 millimeter lens on a full frame camera, you know that that focal length is kind of a good middle ground for a little bit of everything. I love shooting portraits on medium format cameras with tighter lenses like 90 millimeters and up, but the 45 millimeter lens on this camera, in my opinion, feels like a great focal length for a large variety of portraits, whether that's medium range, a little closer up, or even a full body portrait. The GA645 is especially unique for portraits in my opinion, because it's one of the only instances in my experience where you can shoot medium format film and you're not delayed by the inevitably slow system of that camera. When I shoot a roll of portraits on my Pentax 6x7, it can take me so long to compose each frame just because of how long it takes for me to focus the camera. But with the GA645, after you fire a photo, it is ready to take another photo within two and a half to three seconds. Honestly, because of this, I feel like I've gotten so many genuine, unique, beautiful portraits of people that sometimes aren't possible with how slow other medium format cameras can be. I've also just shot some of my favorite portraits with this camera setup, and I think part of that is because it's just so easy to use. I definitely don't get out and shoot landscapes nearly as much as I should, but when I do, the GA645 is the perfect camera to have on me and not have to deal with the usual 10 pound brick that medium format cameras usually are. I went on this absolutely beautiful, gorgeous hike in Washington with my best friend and my older brother when I was visiting and I had the GA645 on me. Man, some of these photos are some of my favorite landscape images I've shot in my entire time as a photographer. The quality of light that early in the morning up there was just perfect. And it really just showed me how versatile this camera and focal length really are paired together. I'm not super into car photography, but my friends in Los Angeles definitely are. So on some of their outings, I will join and I will bring my GA645 because it's so lightweight, but you're able to shoot much more detailed images than like maybe a 35 millimeter point and shoot. 45 millimeters on medium format isn't super wide, so you're not getting any sort of weird warping to the cars, but it definitely isn't way too compressed either. So I think it actually makes for a pretty good automotive photography medium format film camera. Next up, the pop-up flash. The pop-up flash on this camera is incredibly bright. As far as medium format film cameras go, there's a very limited number of cameras that have a built-in flash attached to them. So being able to shoot medium format film photos with ease without having to really think about it is really nice. I think it outputs a really amazing quality and amount of light for how tiny this little flash is. And yeah, I just, some of my favorite photos that I've shot on this camera 
are with the flash. This camera's lens only stops down to f4, which initially when I bought it, I thought was gonna be an issue for everyday use, but it's actually never been a problem. When I first bought the camera, I thought the lens being an f4 lens would not be fast enough for all the different portraits and stuff I wanted to shoot, especially if I wanted to shoot inside. But then I did this shoot with my friend Isis in this beautiful, colorful studio in downtown LA that definitely had quite a bit of natural light coming in, but also wasn't a super bright studio to begin with. I really thought that it wouldn't be bright enough, but when I went to shoot, especially with a roll of Cinestill 800T in the camera, these photos turned out exceptionally. And they're perfectly exposed, very sharp. They're some of my favorite photos I've shot on the camera, period, because I just think they're so fun, colorful, and they really show what the camera is capable of, even in slightly lower light situations. Now, I know in the intro I mentioned that it's lightweight, and that is one of the biggest benefits of having this camera. As someone who shoots a lot of film and also travels a lot, there's always a choice to be made of what camera am I gonna bring with me on this trip? All of the time I want to bring a medium format camera, but all of my other medium format cameras are 10 plus pounds. They are huge. So for instance, I went on a short tour with an artist named Khalid. We went to Iceland, Norway, Lithuania, and Denmark, we went to Copenhagen. And I really wanted to bring a medium format camera with me and I decided to bring the Fuji GA645. And I'm glad I did because I shot so many beautiful snapshots on this camera in the different cities and countries that we visited. And it was such a relief to just be able to pick up this camera and shoot a beautiful portrait of Khalid or of the scenery and not have to fumble around with all of my settings or pull out you know, a 10 pound Pentax 6x7 compose it, get it right. Instead, I just was able to pull this out, turn it on and bam, shoot a photo. And that's such a special thing to be able to do and then have it capture a medium format film image. Personally, I think that's super dope. I don't know if you can tell how small this thing is by just like me holding it in my hands, but it is truly just one of the most lightweight, compact medium format cameras that you could own. And those are a couple of the reasons why the Fuji GA645 wide is one of my favorite medium format cameras in my collection. If it breaks, I'm probably gonna buy another. I'm never gonna sell it. It's not going anywhere. I will see you guys next week for another video, but before you guys go, here is a collection of my favorite images that I've shot on the Fuji GA645W. Peace.